trying to make English spelling consistent. Do you ever think that English spelling is strange at times? For example, how do you read these two letters together, like in these words? It is always pronounced differently here. So the goal of this video is to try and see if you can make English spelling consistent so it matches the pronunciation, and doing this by applying existing rules consistently and by creating new ones if needed. Here are the main reasons why spelling reform likely won't ever happen, even though this video is more about what it would be like rather than a proper attempt at spelling reform. Number one, everyone would have to adapt and relearn how to spell. Number two, everything would have to be converted to the new spellings and it would become harder to read older spellings. Number three, no one accepts or agrees on anything. Normally when someone says something like, hey everyone, we should spell words this way, everyone just says no or ignores them. So the rules or guidelines are to change as little as possible because I still want the language to be recognizable, use the rules that already exist but use them consistently, try to match spelling to pronunciation, this will or no silent letters, minimize having two A's to spell the same sound, keep names the same because changing names will just be a nightmare, and it doesn't matter if two words have the same spelling because we can just use context to understand, like, like we do when listening. Single vowels. The regular pronunciation is for when the letter is alone or not part of a combination. These are a, e, i, o, a. Next is the vowel consonant e or ing rule. They change to a, i, o, and u or u. Then when r follows these letters, a to r, e to u, er, o to o. The vowels with not applicable do have pronunciations, it's just they are inconsistent, so I will replace those later. So this means that O will always be pronounced the same way, unless it follows the other rules. For example, do and so would be do and so, and therefore need to be changed. We already have some duplicate sounds. ER is pronounced er, like in learner, but then we have IR and UR. These use the exact same sound, and therefore I'll replace them all with ER. Combinations with vowels. These are when vowels combine with other letters to make other sounds. We have e, u, ow, a, oi, qua, er. So words with these combinations but with different pronunciations need to be changed. Here is a long list of redundant or inconsistent combinations. Ui is u, ue, we, i, we. The first uses the vowel consonant E rule. The second I use the combination W and I. I create this W combination later. Sweet, you just use the, the spelling we already have. Next, just take away the U, and last you replace the U with a W. For OW, it's inconsistent because one is O and the other is OW. So we replace the second with the rule previously mentioned, like in OUR. Then there are problems with the OU combination just used. Here it's pronounced U, OW, OR, or A. Uh. The first is replaced with double O, the second stays the same, the third you remove the U, and the last remove the O. Here we have double O, it's pronounced U, U, A. Uh. For the second I create a new combination with two U's so we can differentiate these sounds, and blood just needs a single U. Here, AU is just an OR sound, and EA represents E in EAR. AU can be replaced with OR. The next is replaced by double E, and the last is the sound I listed before. For consistency, HERE and SPHERE will also use this rule. For EU, we have YOUR, U, U, EA. They will be changed like so. For petroleum, I added an I because the E should be silent. For OA, we have O and OR. Most can be replaced with the vowel consonant E rule. Toaster required an OW, and the last can be replaced with OR. Now we come to IE and EI. These are an absolute nightmare to sort out and two of the most easily confused combinations in English. These pronunciations are E, EAR, a, uh, a, i, a, a, i, a, i, e, e, a, e, 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 e,
I change these to double E, replace the E with a U. A needs to be changed to AY here because otherwise it's just an A sound like alien. A new rule here, I followed by a vowel will be pronounced as E. Next you just use SHU, eight is like the word already. These just use a single Y like the word my. Deity is a bit of a strange word. I couldn't think of how else to spell it another way. So day a uh, t pliers needs a y because otherwise it will be pliers because of the rule written above. Combinations of consonants. This is just listing rules that already exist. Ch sh th. Th represents two sounds: th in thing and the in that. And here is a combination I create later because there was no way to represent it. Redundant or inconsistent consonant combinations. Here we only have PH and GH, IGH, OUGH, anything with GH really. PH is just another way to say F, so it doesn't need to exist and only creates confusion around which to use. And GH represents way too many sounds to list. BH is replaced with F, and most of these explain themselves. Ghost needs a W, otherwise it's ghost. For thorough, I can't think of any other way to write it, so thorough. The sound without a way to write it. In these words, casual, usual, treasure, vision, we have a sound that we have no way of writing. Je. There is no combination to represent the sound, so I'll use one used for other languages, zh. Silent letters. Here I am just removing the silent letters that don't need to exist. The exception is words that follow the vowel consonant E, I, and G rule, like note, fate. Rules for C and G. From Latin we get the rules. C followed by I or E is pronounced as S. G followed by I or E is pronounced as J. This rule is consistent for C, but not for G. So I'm removing this rule, and G will be replaced with J when said that way. S, Z, and X. S will be replaced with Z when pronounced so. Friends, friends. X will be pronounced as a cuss sound, otherwise it will be replaced. Expert, fine. Xylophone, replaced. Words from other languages. From French we get words like these. Some might argue that as they come from another language we shouldn't change them. I disagree with that. And it wouldn't doesn't really fit the purpose of the video if I don't change them. But uh, the anyway, these words are in the English dictionary, and don't follow the French pronunciation. For example, in French, these are pronounced as information, étiquette, dossier, restaurant, que. Sorry for the terrible French pronunciation. And some of these words are spelt horribly, like Q. What even is that? Quewe. So these are changed like so. Problems and exceptions. I on its own should be like I, but making it I and Y looks too strange for me, so it can stay the same. Replacing the word there is a problem. It's like singular E plus R, but that is pronounced as er. So I had to take another rule, air, er, and use that. I wasn't sure how to deal with Y at the end of words. I could replace it with double E when it's pronounced like that, but that looks too strange for me, for example. So I didn't change it. With American pronunciation, the spelling could be different. For example, talk, talk, like the word hark. This would probably be the same for all the words with this sound. Common word changes. This is just to show some more changes. These words are very common, but the spelling is very illogical when you think about it. For example, one is spelt own or one, two is spelt toi, and so on. So these are changed like so. Even I found spelling one that way weird and confusing, but one should be spelt with a U because it's un. With women, and woman, it's a little strange because we get these words from man and man and men. So it's strange to change them. 
The problem is, if you want consistent spelling, then these either need to be an exception and have have them stay the same, or either change the pronunciation or the spelling. And here are some more. The word changes looks a little strange to me, but I can't spell it another way, really. Minute is actually two words, minute and minute. And finally, here are, in my opinion, some horribly spelled English words and how they are changed. So it's definitely possible to make English spelling a lot more consistent. It just looks very strange. It would look something like this with these changes. It's quite difficult to read and write this way because it's not something we are used to seeing and it's easy to mix words up. Of course, these are just my ideas and it's impossible to get a language completely perfect. I'm not sure if I would like English to be spelled like this, but it would definitely be a lot easier having some more consistent spelling. Let me know what you think in the comments. How would you change English spelling and what would you do differently?